everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we want to look at the details of uh, the fully funded commonwealth scholarships the commonwealth scholarship are prestigious grants funded by the uk government aimed at students from commonwealth countries who wish to pursue advanced study or professional development in the uk so here are the type of commonwealth scholarships available we have the commonwealth master's scholarship which is for individuals from low uh, and middle income commonwealth countries um, and uh, these scholarships support one year taught master's degree in any subject at uk universities we have the commonwealth phd uh, scholarships which is for citizens of developed developing commonwealth countries uh, these scholarships are intended for individuals pursuing doctoral studies at uk universities then we have the commonwealth split side scholarships which are scholarships designed for phd students from developing commonwealth countries to spend up to 12 months at a uk university as part of their doctoral studies in their home country then we have commonwealth shared scholarships which is a jointly funded uh, scholarship by the uk government and the uk universities uh, and these scholarships are intended for students from least developed and lower middle income commonwealth countries who wish to undertake full-time taught master's study on selected courses next we also have commonwealth distance learning scholarships uh, and these are scholarships to enable students from developing commonwealth countries to undertake postgraduate study via distance learning on courses provided by provided by UK universities. Next, we have Commonwealth Professional Fellowships, which are aimed at mid-career professionals from low and middle income countries. These fellowships provide opportunities for professional development and experience in the UK. Then finally, we have the Commonwealth Medical Fellowships, uh, which is available for mid-career medical staff from low and middle income countries. These fellowships aim to enhance clinical skills that will improve the health services in their home countries. So over here, you can see uh, the Commonwealth package, okay, all the, all the benefits that uh, the uh, scholarship holders would be access to. Okay, so you have a fully funded tuition fee sponsorship. You have travel expenses to and from the candidate's home country. If it's relevant, you will have an allowance for clothing. Uh, monthly living stipends are provided as per the property rate of the year and the area. Uh, uh, so for the stip monthly stipends, it will range from 1,133 euros to 1,390 euros. Um, if relevant, allowance for thesis and desertions are provided. Uh, child allowances are provided as well. Okay, so if you have a child, uh, there will be allowance provided for the child. Um, if uh, you have a situation where you are widowed, divorced, or you are a single parent, your monthly coverage is separated. Uh, is a monthly coverage is separately allotted to such cases. In the case that the candidates communicate a disability, a comprehensive evaluation will be undertaken for the candidate's needs. Furthermore, once admissible for added financial support, coverage will be provided as required. Okay, next we have in country travel course okay so you have uh, an allowance for field course as well uh, you have family and spouse allowance uh, uh, as per the candidate specific situation uh, scholarship is a bit different from uh, the fully funded scholarships that you would usually come across where they don't uh, support your dependents it looks like this scholarship uh, has provision for uh, your family or your spouse or your child or if you find yourself in a specific situation so we come down here to the eligibility criteria so the first uh, thing is your nationality applicants must be citizen of or have been granted refugee status by an eligible commonwealth country or be British protected person uh, next is the residency, okay. Applicants must be permanently resident in an eligible Commonwealth country. Uh, we have academic qualifications. For master's scholarships, candidates usually need to hold a first degree at either first or uh, upper second class level. Uh, for PhD scholarships, candidates must typically have a master's degree. Uh, financial need. Applicants should be unable to afford study in the UK without a scholarship. Okay, so if you can afford study in the UK, then you are not eligible to apply for the scholarship. The quality of the study plan. For research-based scholarship, the quality and feasibility of the proposal
digital are accessed, okay, development impact. Applicants must demonstrate the potential to lead and bring out the necessary benefits of their home country after the study. Okay, so we move on to your work experience. Okay, so some scholarships, particularly professional fellowships, require relevant work experience. Uh, we have your English language. Candidates must meet the English language requirements of the host university. Okay, so depending on the school you choose, the English language requirements might differ. Okay, so you need to find that out uh, before you apply. Return to your home country. Candidates are usually required to return to their home country following their study period in the UK. Um, restriction of previous study in the UK. Typically, applicants who have previously studied in the UK with funding from a UK government funded scholarship are not eligible. All right, so we want to look at all the countries that are eligible uh, for master's and PhD um, with this particular scholarship. So let's quickly look at the application process. Okay, the first thing that will be required of you is the registration. Okay, then you choose a theme and course. So you select appropriate uh, CSC theme in the university uh, and the course you wish to apply for. Um, you need to fill your details, your personal and academic information. Uh, the next thing you want to do is the development impact statement. Okay, you need to provide a development impact statement. Uh, and then the next thing will be to um, attach your required documents, okay, uh, like proof of citizenship, refugee status, uh, educational qualifications, and references. Then the final step will be to submit your application. So here are the documents required for your Commonwealth Scholarship. The first thing will be the proof of citizenship or refugee status. The second thing is your academic strong script and the degree certificate. The third thing is your references. All right, the next thing will be your admission letter. Then you would also want to submit your uh, CV and your resume, your personal statement, uh, which will include your reasons for applying, how the scholarship will benefit your career, how you intend to contribute to the development of your home country. Okay, And the next thing will be your development impact statement, uh, your research proposal or study plan, and then you put your proof of English proficiency. Um, sorry, I'm rushing through these points. You might as well pause the video and then so that you can have a detailed um, You can have detailed information on the scholarship All right, so that brings me to the end of this session um, I hope that you enjoyed and have benefited from this video um, There will surely be more scholarship videos uh, to come so kindly subscribe. See you in the next one